Hello everyone, Positron back with some more Path to the Sky. So it's been quite a while, and uh, a major, major patch went out a few days ago. Uh, probably about last week, uh, point one nine was kind of the first major change to the game. And then point two zero and point two one have refined that. Um, the game has been changed significantly. Um, the basic layout is kind of the same, but there's been a lot of cool stuff. Uh, first of all, in addition to Akamo, we also have Farja now. Uh, I'll play as her here. Um, so yeah, there are two new characters now, or there are two characters total. Um, and the gameplay is, uh, it's controlled very differently and the layout is different. So you see here we have, um, these island, even the silhouettes are procedurally generated. It generates, um, kind of a biosphere and what kind of enemies are going to be in that. So you see over here, we kind of have an arctic grass mix. So this is Farja. Now the difference is, the main difference in the game is there's no longer twin stick. Um, you just fire with the, I'm trying to think what this would be equivalent, what's the square button for me on um, a PS4 controller. The left button, whatever the heck that is on a 360, which I'm not thinking of at the moment, sadly enough. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit of lock-on. You can fire in, in all directions, um, or you can fire in eight directions, rather. And there's a, a little bit of minor lock-on to help. So there's no more awkward twin-stick controls. It frees up the controller quite a bit. Um, and that did, while that did work in the original, this is significantly better. Also, um, you are stationary now while firing. Enemies are far more aggressive. You have a dodge roll now. That can show off once we get some stamina. And stamina also applies to your uh, weapon ability. Yeah, you see a little bit of lock-on happening there. You see when we get targeted, the enemy gets surrounded. Um, and each character has a weapon ability. For Farja, it's this crazy, like, Frozen Orb Diablo 2 style sort of deal. Is it Diablo 2 or is it only Diablo 3 that had Frozen Orb? I don't know, whichever. Um, but yeah, you generate stamina by hitting enemies. And with stamina, uh, we still have the block, but if you're moving while you block, you do a roll and you're invincible for the entire duration of the roll. Uh, now, enemies are far, far more aggressive now. Many of them have shields, they have staves, um, they have um, bows and things like that. They're far more aggressive, far more difficult. Uh, Farja is much slower than Akamo, uh, and she kind of compensates for this with her staff ability, that crazy frozen orb ability. It does a lot of damage, a lot of screen clearing. Alright, uh, so yeah, we have our treasure room. Uh, now, I believe weapons and shields are no longer a thing, or rather, they are at least not um, within treasure rooms anymore. They might show up in different locations now. So this ability actually dramatically slows down my wind-up time on my shot, assuming that means that I do a lot more damage now. So we still have these outdoor areas. Um, you'll notice the inside is a little darker, too. I'm not a huge fan of how dark it is right now, but... I know that stuff's all being tweaked. Again, this is early access. It's very, very early in development still. Um, but you'll see the enemies are actually pretty difficult now. Um, all right, those guys are going off to the bottom. So outside, we get these locked doors sometimes. And if we beat the challenge in here... Oh. Yeah, this massive attack is actually really tough to use. Um, it does a lot of damage, though. Looks like I'm doing six damage already. But I have a huge wind-up time. So we get this Drowned Sailor. And he or she will tell us to choose wisely. So we get a choice of... Um, two items. Let's try the Jolly's Lantern. Uh, plus crit and gives us fire uh, projectiles. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's one of the primary uses for keys. Now, I'm not sure if you need keys to open treasure chests still. Uh, and all the rooms have markers now to much more easily differentiate between a regular room and, say, a boss room. So with Farge, I kind of like to just fire this off as soon as possible. Sometimes you can get a straight uh, clear, room clear right away with that, at least in the early levels. Um, you'll see that the difficulty ramps up quite quickly, and you'll also notice, ooh, temporary shield. The, uh, the Book of True Shield. Um, you'll also notice I've also taken tons of damage already from one aggressive enemy. Now, there are a few quirks. Obviously, it's not ideal that it still shows the, uh, 
um, the shop door at the exit at the top there, because we don't know what that room is. But again, early access, these things are all being worked out. I'm gonna go this way for now. If I can... And this character itself was actually tweaked already. Um, it used to be even slower than it is now, but it's tweaked up a bit. Combo is actually pretty fast. Um, I was kind of against the whole wind-up mechanic at first, but it actually... Oh! It actually has turned out to work relatively well with the upgrades you can get. Right, let's see I'm knock out the bomb guy right away, because he's very dangerous. And I do have a shield. You know what? I'm just going to use that, because I have one health now already, so... Yeah, this massive attack item is um, actually really, really hard to use. I do have five coins. Uh, I would really like the Talon Charm, but I might just need to buy health. Well, we'll just try to risk it. In worst case, I'll just start another run here. Um, so, unfortunately, right now, uh, the bosses aren't in. We get these challenge rooms instead. I'm assuming the bosses are going to be back eventually. It's kind of in a transitionary period about the, uh, the game here. But these challenge rooms at the end of each floor have uh, kind of like champion versions of every enemy. You can actually see at the bottom, uh, they have a name that's denoting, like, you know, this one is uh, more health and has reflecting shots and splash damage shots and freezing shots. And this one, um, the drunken, I think, is just the shots move in a weird pattern. There we go. Hopefully there's two coins in here. Oh, they do, it does require a key and I don't have one. All right, I'm going to go buy health. See if I can stretch out this run a little longer. Um, I only have five cents. Maybe... All right, let's gamble this. Let's buy the key and assume I'm going to get at least one coin out of here and hopefully something else. Got four cents. Um, all right, I'm just going to go. If I die, then I'll start a new run. I'll show off a combo um, visibility too when I die here. So yeah, we'll go up here and you'll see that, again, we get a procedurally generated uh, silhouette, which is pretty neat. Not sure if that actually shows the layout of the area, um, or general layout, but it's kind of a neat feature. So I'm probably going to die here pretty soon. Um, enemies do ramp up relatively quickly. Oh, that's an exploder. Um, now rolling uses stamina. Blocking does not. I think blocking, yeah, I'm dead. I think blocking actively, like if you actually block something, it might use a little bit of stamina. Also, the score, the scoreboard is on a daily basis now, which is pretty cool. So let's play as a combo. So this time we get a flourishing mire, damp mold beach. All right. So he is much faster than Farja, but he's a little less damaging. Now show off his him. Oh, so his ability is he's got this roll. Um, you can use it anywhere, you can use it in midair. He does this uh, invincibility roll and then fires three shots rapidly. Pretty neat. Uh, very useful for escaping. I'm not picking up that again, I can tell you that much right now. Um, not a fan of the Rusty Cannon. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. <sighs> I'll do it. Eh, it's actually not so bad on a combo. Let's see. There we go. Alright, that guy, I can actually see his shadow in the background there. Now the other thing is too, is you can't, um, you can't animation cancel anymore with your shield, so you have to be a little more clever about blocking. Uh, this is kind of good and bad, I feel. The only downside I feel like is I don't block as much, and I would certainly like to block more. Get a potion here. I still don't know if potions are... Permanent? I think they are, but I'm not entirely positive on that. All right, what do you got? Um, he's got a beak. I would like to get four more coins to get that. And I do have a, a key to go to this outdoor area, though I am tempted not to use it right away in case, well, maybe we'll find another key. You can still find keys in um, those crystal blocks, but they do actually just look like keys now. A lot of these invisible enemies here. Oh dear. I gotta get out of here. There we 
go. Uh, you're still there. Just... Alright, what do we get a choice of? Uh, we could take the mini buckler. I've never had that before. The tentacle gel. Let's try this one because I've never had it before. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a rotating uh, shield. That seems really nice, actually. Like, exceptionally nice. Uh, we still need four cents to get the beak, though. We've been to the treasure room. You also notice that um, there aren't points in regular blocks anymore, at least not to my knowledge. But you don't have to go crazy uh, trying to break every single block in the game anymore. It's kind of nice on a score perspective. All right, that is one. Need um, I need four more cents, right? So calling him cents like it's the Binding of Isaac, but uh, okay. Uh, grass will still have. Coins and stuff in them, though, so that's kind of nice. Well, it can. Doesn't necessarily. And now I'm trying to see if I'm correct about that. I believe so. I believe there are no more points and blocks. Alright, challenge room time. I am very bad at dodging under the new system, I can tell you that much. Ooh, that guy's kind of stuck there. Ooh, and he's blocking, too. Alright, he exploded. There we go. I don't have a key to open this treasure chest, unfortunately. Um, so we'll just head up to the next floor. I believe now the game is also um, indefinite. There is no end. That may change in the future. You may set an actual end point. But as of right now, it's... Um, just you just go until you die. And again, I've harped on this a million times, but early access, everything is subject to change. This guy is actually kind of tough. Pretty short, um, short range on my shots as well. I'm not sure if that's part of the cannon or just a combo in general. I know there are range upgrades, though. Also, I feel like my frame rate dropped a little bit. That's just an issue with the current iteration of the particle system. As a patch that went in this morning, it's not a um, it's not a, a real game issue. It only happens once in a while. I kind of want to. Yeah, there we go. I have to get used to not saving my um, ability too much because it does regenerate very quickly. Still need to get a key. You can get keys out of grass, I believe, or out of uh, the bushes. All right, what do we got here? You have a three cent key. I'll definitely buy that. I'll go pick up the. I might as well get the treasure here first, but then I'll go pick up the. What I assume will be the Drowned Sailor Room. What is this? This is Mangrove Root. Damage, HP, and attack speed. That's actually really nice. Alright, let's head back out to the Outdoor Room. I would like a mini-map, too. I'm not sure if that's uh, something that's planned or not. It is actually kind of interesting that with the uh, the change that enemies do tend to fly off the, the top of the screen again. They try to escape. There we go. You gonna come back? No, pretty sure he's he's heading out. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame him. Oh, okay. So we got a really hefty enemy in here. He's gonna split into two. I know that for a fact. Using the uh, special ability on a combo seems even more important than on Farja. It's basically your best way of dodging damage. All right, what do we get here? Two choices. Orby. Octopus Ink Sack, I believe. Um, this is Blinding Ink. I think it's a slow, but I'm not sure. Maybe it actually causes them to de-aggro.
Let's see. Uh, we've been through the shop. I wouldn't mind binding it. Uh, buy, yeah, binding. Buying another key. There's the boss, but we haven't been down this way. What do we got here? Yeah, okay, here's uh, another coin. Ooh, okay, that's dangerous. I mean, fortunately, it blocked a lot with those shields. We got an exploder, too. Uh, this room is also unfinished. Oh, I didn't think we could actually fire on ladders. That's good to know. Could you in the previous build? I don't remember now. I need one more coin for another key. That guy is dangerous. Anything with a bow or any sort of... Um, Extra offense. Oh yeah, it, it looks like it not necessarily stuns them, but stops them from attacking you briefly. Pretty damn nice. All right, and we have challenge room time or boss time, if you will. This guy is actually low level. Oh, he's firing very quickly though. He's got these boomerang ice shots. That was actually very easy. Unfortunately, I did not get another coin. I'm not gonna be able to buy that other key. Maybe I just start prioritizing these chests versus the drowned sailor rooms, because chances are you're gonna get more. Ah, I don't know if you can get keys out of those though. Might be able to get items out of them as well. All right, so now we're up to level 12 and 16 monsters. This is part dry, part arctic, I think. So part desert, part arctic. So this is where enemies start getting very aggressive, very high health. Oh, this guy's an exploder. I lived, but just barely. Let's check the treasure room. Treasure rooms are freebies. Not a great score right now either, unfortunately. Ooh, nice, got health there. Um, short fuse, quick and relentless. I think that's supposed to increase, ooh. Temporary damage boost. I think that increases my attack speed, but I think the uh, the massive attack thing is um, kind of slowing that down. We'll probably end up buying health here if... Wow, that's a lot of money in this room. Ah, it's health in here. My, I feel like my attack range has gotten longer also. However, this is very dangerous right now. And he fires, if he does fire. There we go. Another coin, so the boss room is to the left. Another coin, so we got eight cents here and the um, shop is right nearby. It's a little hard to hit that. There we go. All right, what do you got for me in here? Maybe he's got a HP up item. That would be nice. No, nope. he does have a heart though, and cheap key. Definitely buy that. Would like two more cents and buy another key. So I'll probably actually do what I was saying and save it. Right, this guy's gonna split into two. He's a doubler. Level 14 doubler. Doing about seven damage a shot, it looks like. Man, he's got a lot of health. Holy cow. And they are quick. Blinded one, though. Nice. Alright, this guy's a caster, he's a bouncer. Gotcha. Doing pretty solid damage. And there's another coin. One more, I can get that other key. Question is, do I want to... How do I want to do this? Do I want to do what I said and take the, the boss room? Ooh, on fire. Okay. Uh, yeah, do I want to take the boss room first or am I going to need the item? I don't know if I have explored every room either. I think I have, though. Alright, this was the entrance. 
Uh, I think I've explored every room, unfortunately. Yep. Um, have I gone this way? Yes. Ooh, can I do the boss room with one full heart? We're gonna find out. Alright, he is very quick, and that guy's a spawner, and he's spawning 50 HP enemies. I am super dead. There is, like, no way. Uh, yeah. This is... <laughs> that, was a, that was a very tough room. I think that'll do it for now. Eh, not a terrible score for the day. Lower than my previous, though. Um, but yeah, so I think that'll do it for now. But yeah, again, Path to the Sky, I'll have a link in the description below if you want to go pick it up on Steam. It is early access, very, very early in development, but it's kind of a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, check it out if you want to, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.